Welcome everybody, we're at the Ultimate Paint Shop. We're working on our Project Miata. This is our giveaway car. We're gonna repaint it, and I wanna use this video series here to kind of walk you through the step-by-step -step process that a body shop goes through from when they get the car to prep it, sand it, fill it, do whatever they need to do, all the way through the painting process, and then after paint where they color sand it and buff it down, and then to what we do, our protection options, which are uh, paint protection film and ceramic coating. So we're gonna go through the start to finish. This is gonna be a cool series. If you guys haven't heard, we're building out a custom right-hand drive Unos Roadster Miata from Japan. Check this out. This is our project car and we're documenting the build on this vehicle on our YouTube channel. We're case swapping it, we're manual swapping it, we're wide bodying it, we're gonna repaint it, new wheels, suspension, we're going all out on this thing. And then we're giving it away. And you can be entered by buying merch from carsuppliesWarehouse.com. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below where you can purchase merch and get entered to win. And make sure you check out the YouTube series of us building out this car. But remember, you can't win if you don't enter. If you haven't seen the previous video, we fit the Rocket Bunny kit on there, and it wasn't too bad, actually. We had to cut out the fenders here um, and the back quarter panels, and it fits really nice, beautifully. Uh, check that video out, but otherwise, getting started here, we're gonna take all this off. Uh, there's just machine screws in here right now, or metal uh, screws in here. I actually ordered rib nuts to put back there, and those will be here tomorrow, so we'll actually have to put those in, and we got some cool hardware coming, so this will look a little better when we put it back on after we paint it. All right, now the... All right, the now... All right, now... <laughs> now that the car is clean, we can start looking for dents. Like uh, this one right here, there's a small dent and I'm just gonna circle it. Uh, I'm gonna look for all those areas that either need to be filled or pulled before we actually start sanding everything down. Uh, stuff like this too. I'm looking at all these seals. I'm gonna look if, if I can find new seals, I'll replace these, but I wanna keep these just in case I can't find them. You know, this seal here too, before I take this off, I wanna find out if I can find that seal before we actually take it off, because I think this is just glued on and I think it's actually metal, so I don't wanna bend it or break it if I can't replace it. Step one for getting this Miata ready for paint is to remove anything that we don't want painted, including all the seals, the door handles, the latches, and all the lights. Both the bumpers will be painted separately, so these also have to come off. Well, I think I've gone as far as I can go today. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have a couple more guys with me, a little more knowledge to start filling some of these dents or pulling some of those dents. The big one uh, on the rocker panel needs to be pulled out and then remove the top here. I think it starts scuffing everything. I'm not sure. So um, I'll know more tomorrow. What do I do? <laughs> All right, this is what I usually do. I usually do uh, 120, sand it out. You gotta get it nice and scuffed. You know, okay. go down, go down to almost to the to the base. Okay. Know? Not not the metal, the base of the uh, base coat. Okay. okay. So when I see primer. Yeah, no base coat. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to see primer. It's kind of too far because you're okay. not. You're not going to be pulling it. You're always going to be filling it. It's really light fill. Okay. Yeah, I'll do one and show you. Okay. A couple and show you. All right, we sanded down uh, these little dents. They're, they were just small, tiny little dents here. You can kind of see where this indented here, where I 
um, sanded this down and then we have this low spot here where it didn't sand out. So we're gonna mix some glaze coat. So this is a very thin layer of glaze coat. You can see we already started a spot there. So I'm gonna put that down there, uh, allow it to dry for like 20 minutes and come back and sand it as flat as possible. if I'm doing a good job or not. That stuff hardens really quickly. I think these guys here, there's, this is a little different because these are actually poke outs. So I'm gonna sand them down as flat as I can and then use that to shape it a little bit. All right. <laughs> We're learning as we go here. Dave was showing me a couple things. I used the wrong side of the hammer for these poke outs. There's another hammer that has like a, a little point. He says just a little bit and poke that. He's actually going to fix this with me now. Uh, it, this is too much to use glaze. So he's going to use something thicker and kind of show me how to do that. He was working the metal back and forth with this, put it behind there to try to get this uh, smooth again. But uh, for, for you guys that are out there that know what you're doing, um, I'm still learning this, so we're going back and forth. And this is a part of this, this whole build process for me is just to learn as much as possible and uh, make mistakes and then fix them. So let me show you actually what we're looking for here. Okay, over here, this is exactly what we're looking for. We didn't go through to the metal, but you can see this here where uh, that's the low spot. So we're gonna use just a small amount of glaze there and then let that dry for about 20 minutes and come back and sand it out. He was teaching me the sanding pattern too. I wanna to kinda of go in X's and go with the body line. So he said, this is one of the most difficult parts when we're doing body work is just to get that flat and we're gonna look at it at different angles. So uh, <laughs> let's test it out, I'm gonna learn. <laughs> Here we go. I know there's body shop technicians out there just cringing, me, watching me do this, I'm sorry. So I was also doing the mixing the Bondo incorrectly. You can see how a mess that I made. So there's two sides to this. There's, you can see that bevel. I don't know if you can see that bevel where it just kind of goes down a little bit. And then there's this backside where it's just straight. So we want to be using this side here. So the way I'm going to mix it, I'm just going to push it together like this, kind of knead it together and not use that side. So I'm gonna try it again. Here we go. Did I do any better? <sighs> hmm. This is so awkward and foreign to me. But the good thing it's hard to mess this up. I can always sand it back down and redo it. Once the Bondo is dry, I'm going to use an air powered DA with 400 grit sandpaper. What do you think I did over here? What would I do for like inside here? Do that by hand maybe? Because um, I accidentally got yeah, shit in there or I can pick it off probably. Yeah, sometimes you can pick it up, but if you already said it's going to grab really good, uh, you, you, can, you can send it by hand. Okay, I'll do that by yeah. hand. So what is after this? Do you have to like scuff the whole body? The whole part would have to be scuffed down. Okay. And then ready for primer. You're ready, you're ready to it. roll? I know, I want to get it done, but yeah. We got to get the windshield taken out and then just start scuffing everything, right? Scuff, scuff, scuff. Okay. All right, that was Francisco. He is the one who's gonna be painting the car. So I asked him to come over here real quick and get his eye on it to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And he found uh, probably six or seven more dents that I couldn't see. So what we're gonna do is continue to sand all those down, skim coat them, and then re-sand them, make sure that everything's nice and flat, and then we can scuff it, and then it's ready to paint. I think, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it's time to scuff, and uh, I got these scuffing pads here, Merca. I don't even know what they're called, so it, I think it says 360 there. 
So the red here is a little coarser and then the gray is a little finer. Uh, they gave them both to me just to scuff up the whole car. So now I'm gonna scuff all the panels up and um, I think we still have that big dent to fix in the rocker panel. Uh, Dave's gonna help me with that. We're gonna pull it out. So we're actually put some like rivet type things in there and pull that dent out. And then we'll have to do some shaping with the glaze, I believe too. And then sand all that out and scuff everything. So I'm gonna get scuffing because I'm waiting for Dave on the dent. I actually started hand scuffing the car and uh, a technician quickly came over and let me know that I could just use the DA with 800 grit sandpaper for all the big panels. That would have been a big job. All right, I think it's time to call it a day. My fingers hurt. They're sore. I've uh, been scuffing, been sanding. Stick around because tomorrow is going to be a little more exciting because we are going to pull this dent. We got a big dent in the rocker panel that we got to pull tomorrow. And then we're going to do some welding along there. And I'll weld that. And then, of course, we got to do more scuffing on all the bumpers. I took the back trunk off. I scuffed all the inside there, took this off. Uh, we got to take the glass out. We can do that tomorrow, uh, but we're going to be close. Um, we may be painting um, in a day, so to, we'll see what we can get tomorrow. But if we can get enough done tomorrow, maybe we're painting sooner than I thought. Bye. See you tomorrow.